golden rule was something that was talked about in a case by Mr Justice Templeman, as he then was, who became Lord Templeman. The golden rule says that when taking instructions to prepare a will for a client who is elderly or vulnerable, then the will draft person should recommend that they obtain a formal assessment of their testamentary capacity by a specialist medical practitioner. If they're paying somebody to draft the will for them, that they ought to pay a properly instructed doctor to examine them for at least an hour with all the information available. MMSE, the Mini Mental State Exam, is a trap in my view. It is not diagnostic of dementia. People with very severe depression can score badly on it, for instance. Doctors ask mainly about memory and orientation very little about uh, executive function. And the doctor should be provided with the relevant information because if the doctor is interested in the patient's memory, he can ask what was in your previous will. A good letter is usually pretty, pretty long. It should state very clearly what the instructions are. In other words, please give an opinion on X's capacity to make a will on such and such an occasion and when the will was executed on such and such a date is this person vulnerable was this person vulnerable to undue influence setting out who the family are marital history and then uh, a story of how the will came to be made and and what the what the actual problem is a discussion of what previous wills who might expect to benefit from their wills why certain people are benefiting and certain people have been excluded. The will drafters are not alerted to various worrying signs. A classic example is why is a child disinherited? There may be perfectly good reasons, but it's unusual and it should ring alarm bells in the will drafter. It is really quite important to have some input from the medical practitioner as to how dementia, for example, may have affected um, somebody's vulnerability. People who are in the early stages of dementia, even if they have capacity, may nevertheless be extremely vulnerable to influence from others. I am wholly against asking a GP to do an NHS consultation of seven minutes, I think the average is. I think that the best cognitive test that can be used, I'm not talking about an NHS consultation, but in a reasonable one-hour consultation, is the Addenbrooke's Cognitive Examination, which has a score out of 100 and has been properly statistically analysed. In somebody scoring 80 or below on the Cognitive Examination, is most likely to uh, have dementia. If you've taken a history and done a full mental state examination, you come to the conclusion that dementia is a likely diagnosis, then an ACE score is strongly supportive. The golden rule is honoured more in the breach than the observance, unfortunately.